Hi and welcome to the tutorial on exporting your keywords. Uh, you, you can export them back into Lightroom, into the Lightroom keyword field. You can also export them as a CSV field, a, com a file, a comma separated file, uh, which you can then import into Excel and create an Excel spreadsheet of them. Uh, and you can also export your keywords along with uh, user fields, which are down here, that you can create in the preferences. And uh, you can create another comma separated file for that. So let's get started. Last um, tutorial was on how to create the Alamy, Lice, uh, Alamy Excel spreadsheet. And um, so we'll just review that. You go down here, uh, keyword export keywords to Alamy spreadsheet. Remember, you have to have all the things filled in. Uh, it's telling me that I have be in the download folder. I have to have all these fields filled in before um, uh, I can uh, do that export. So I go into downloads, and there it is. I can just drag it down here, and then I can go over and look at it um, in a text file. And there the field is. The fields are um, as a as a and you can send mail this off to your stock agency or whoever needs it. All right. So the other thing is if I go to in here and I double click it, uh, my machine is set up to open it up in a Excel. Yours may be too. So now you can see it in Excel. And as we said before, you just have to be careful that Excel doesn't format your um, the dates in the way that uh, Alamy doesn't want it. All right, so with uh, it being set up as Alamy, uh, we see notice that there's only a space between each of the uh, keywords, and that's usually what uh, what other companies don't want. So we're going to show you how you can change you can, you can change the keywording from doing it for Alamy and then say you want to send it to somebody else you're going to need different uh, keyword separators so I go to preferences I say I want no specific compliance it gives me a semicolon let's put a semicolon in space I go back here and it's uh, still set up with no separator so I have to go up here and regenerate keywords for all images in this import. And this is a good way for you to, you can send these keywords to all sorts of different stock agencies that have different separators. So it does it, but hey, nothing's changed. Just have to go to the next record, come back, and we see how it's changed. So let's st start off by, let's go back to Lightroom. Here are the images, and here's the keywords. They're all blank. And then we're going to go back um, to the program, and we go to Export Tools, Export Keywords to Lightroom. I say OK. It flashes around a bit. It should take a little while. And um, there it's done. So we go over to Lightroom. <gasps> there they all are. Isn't that exciting? So I look in there, and all the keywords are in there. Uh, Lightroom uses commas, so they're going to replace the semicolons that we used with commas. Now we go back here. That was pretty simple. And we say, I want to create the keywords to an, a CSV file. Again, it goes up into the downloads. I can either click on them here, opens it up as an Excel spreadsheet. It has the image numbers followed by the keywords with your separators, the comma. And once again, if you don't want an Excel spreadsheet, you can just um, go into the downloads, drag it over here, and then you can send that file, which we'll see right here, uh, to whoever needs it. Uh, what is it? That's that one. And there they are, the, the uh, comma separated.
context. Okay, so that's done there. And then finally we have these user fields down here. Let's come back. Um, that I've filled out. Now these are user fields that you determine in the preferences. Um, the user fields. And remember the order that they're here, that they're entered, is the order that the data will be exported. So let's go back to last image and I want to export keywords and fields to S CSV file. Once again it goes down to your downloads. Once again you just uh, you can double click on it and there it is in there we've got the image number we've got the keywords this time we wanted the photographer uh, category and headline. So there they are all there. So you can arrange this f um, file to be pretty much exactly as you wish. So that is it for exporting and thank you very much.